Good morning everyone. I am starting this vlog on a very sunny, crisp winter morning. It is cold this morning, like seriously cold, hence why I'm wearing my big cozy Kiwi and Co jumper which you would have seen in the first winter haul a couple of videos ago. I absolutely love it. It's so nice and cozy. I've worn it quite a lot since I'm not gonna lie but it is one of those days where it's just so crisp in the air like it's gorgeously sunny but really really cold because there's like no cloud coverage which is the perfect day in my opinion to spend indoors. <laughs> I do not have any plans to leave the flat today and I'm really looking forward to that. Really, really looking forward to that. It's just gonna be a really cozy day at home today, which I cannot wait for. But the reason why I'm starting the vlog in the kitchen is because I was just about to make myself a morning coffee and I wanted to show you a couple of new syrups that I picked up because I know you guys love the syrups. We always chat about them. We order them off Amazon mainly, but sometimes Home Sense have really great selections and I may have popped into home since the other day and I may have picked up a couple of really wintry flavors that I can't wait to try. Honestly, I'll excuse putting things in cupboards where I literally just can't reach them. I know I have my stool, but like, it's effort. Um, so the first flavor, which this is the really, really festive one, which I think I'm gonna wait and open this one a little bit closer to Christmas, but it's cinnamon vanilla. Hello, oh my word, sounds amazing. Vanilla is my favorite. You will see that I use vanilla almond every single day. I really love just a vanilla coffee because I find that it's not too sweet, like a caramel one, but it's just sweet enough that it kind of like lifts the coffee a little bit. So that's my daily one. Um, and then I picked up the cinnamon vanilla, which I'm so excited to try. I feel like that's gonna be such a festive coffee. But then the other one that I picked up, that I feel like isn't too festive, it's very like, wintry and kind of appropriate for now is hazelnut noisette i think that's how you say it it's actually from a different brand so i normally get my coffees from skinny syrups jordan's skinny syrups which are zero calorie zero sugar syrups um which i know i really don't like the name skinny syrups i know but that's kind of like the terminology around like zero calorie stuff, isn't it? Like whenever I go into Starbucks, if I ask for a coffee with, cause I usually drink red milk, like skimmed milk. I know some people hate it, but that's just the milk I choose to drink. Um, so I drink that milk. And then usually when you come into Starbucks, you like can have a, like red milk coffee, they're like what? And then you, when you go, can I have a skinny latte? They're like, oh yeah. So anyway, um, so I normally go for Jordan skinny syrups. Now this is from a brand called Cafe Plus. Never tried before, but it's the same sense, sugar-free, calorie-free, just says coffee and coffee and latte flavored syrups. So I feel like we should give that a try this morning because I am very excited to get into the festive spirit and I feel like the best way to do so is to start with your drinks. And I won't lie, oh my God, these are so hard to open. I actually had my first hot chocolate the other night and it was wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Wow, that is amazing. Oh my word, 10 out of 10 would recommend. I'll see if I can find it and link it down below because that's so like festive without being too much. I love hazelnut around Christmas. It kind of almost tastes like a bit of a Bailey's coffee without the alcohol. So if maybe you like Bailey's coffee, but obviously you don't want to be like, put a shot Bailey's in at 10 in the morning or you don't drink, that is amazing. So I have been doing a little bit of home shopping. I apologize in advance for the lighting. It's gonna be going in and out. Clouds have started to form and it means that the sun is a little bit hit or miss, but I wanted to stay in here because 
we have some new home pieces that I wanted to go through with you guys and show you what I picked up because I'm really, really excited about them. And all I'm going to say is if you don't like Christmas, you might want to click off now because we've got some really, really exciting Christmas pieces. I feel like now that we're in November, it's officially time to start buying Christmas decorations. And actually speaking to a lot of like retailers, um, and like big sellers, loads of them have been talking about stock issues this year. And so I feel like if there is anything that you want, even if you think it maybe is a little bit too early to start thinking about it or planning it or buying your Christmas trees or decorations or anything like that, just buy it because there's been lots of stock issues. There's really, really low levels of stock this year, it seems. And I feel like things are gonna sell out really quickly. And I feel like quite a lot of people are probably gonna end up being a bit disappointed, which is such a shame. So if there's anything you want, get it now. But I wanted to show you what I picked up because I'm already getting in the Christmas spirit. I'm getting so, so excited for it. I feel like once it hits November to me, that's when I'm allowed to start getting excited for Christmas. I'm gonna start doing my Christmas shopping. Obviously we've got Black Friday coming up, which I'm gonna be putting together so many videos and blog posts and all that jazz. I'll be talking about my Black Friday wish list and a few of those will probably be Christmas presents and stuff that I'm looking to get for other people so that I can get them some really, really nice goodies in the sale. But I thought I would show you first today what I've been picking up. I'm gonna start with H&M Home because it's my fave. I feel like maybe I should close the blind beside me. Should I close it? Is that any better? I'm not entirely sure. But, H&M. So, why are bags of triplets with it? Picked up some really, really cute pieces for Christmas. Now, if you guys know me, you'll know that I have a bit of a theme. I'm gonna be changing up a little bit this year, but I'm still gonna be sticking with the main theme of red and gold. I feel like that's the most like classic Christmas colors to go for and I absolutely love it. So, in terms of decorations for the Christmas tree, I just saw a couple of really cute little pieces. First up, oh my word, these are absolutely adorable. These little red ribbons. And you'll understand why in a minute why I picked them up because they are just so cute. Look at those. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. They're these really gorgeous, like deep red, um, like velvet ribbons that would look so nice on the tree with these kind of like silver dots, which I just think looks so cute. And they've got gold, um, like hanger bit so I picked up they come in a pack of two and they were so affordable I think they were like 2 dollars so I'll link them down below of course everything that I picked up I will link down below for you guys so you can shop everything from this little homeware haul um next up I picked up okay I'm not gonna unwrap them all just because you only really need to see one but it's this really adorable little gold star it's like got six kind of let me hide my face so it doesn't focus on my face so much. But it's so, so cute. And I think that they would be really lovely on the tree. I feel like for me, when it comes to Christmas decorations, I like to stick to like mainly baubles. But I like to have a few other little bits thrown in there. I'm not, I'm not a higgledy-piggledy tree kind of a gal. I like to have a theme. I like to have it kind of like organized. But I still think it's nice just to throw in a few like non-baubles in there. So I thought these gold stars would be really, really cute. And I just think the red and the gold together always looks so so, so nice. They're all wrapped individually. So I'm not gonna unwrap them all yet because obviously we're not putting up the Christmas decorations just yet. Although if I had my way, we probably would. Um, and then I picked up a couple of pillow covers, cushion covers. People always get very annoyed at me when I get it wrong. Cushion covers, I think they are. Um, I had some really, really cute ones and this was my absolute favorite. How cute is that? Just a little red one that says Merry Christmas. Now, obviously, as you can see behind me on my sofa, I have a copious amount of cushions. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just take off a pillowcase or a cushion case and put this on over the top so that you don't have to buy like a whole new cushion. You don't have to be like wasteful in that kind of sense. You can just swap things out. And again, this was so affordable. I cannot remember the, t the price at the top of my head, but I think it was like $5.99. So again, really, really affordable and such a cute little way to like Add a little bit of a festive touch if you're someone that maybe doesn't have room for a tree, if you're in like a studio where you just live in a bedroom, but you wanna add a few little nods to Christmas. I feel like this would be so cute. So that's gonna be in the living room. And then 
This, I feel like it's gonna go in my office. I, I'm gonna be running Christmas through the flat a little bit more this year. So I'm gonna have a few more decorations running through like my office and the bedroom. And I feel like this is gonna look so nice in my office. It's another cushion cover, but this, can you see that? It's got like a, a festive reindeer kind of forest vibe going on there. I absolutely love it. It looks very Dior to me. Like it looks like the Dior embroidery, which I really, really like. And again, it was so affordable. So I'm just going to take off one of the cushions from the sofa and put this in there. I think this is just really, really cute. And it's a really nice festive cushion without being too much if you're someone that doesn't like to go all out at christmas and you just like little nods and you don't want it to be like a full this is christmas in here i feel like this is a really nice way to just get a little bit festive without being too overboard so was that everything that was everything from h&m i'm gonna move on to the boxes that i have here because we've got a lot to get through okay now first of all i've been really wanting to do a like festive kind of bouquet and you guys know i'm really bad with real plants and stuff like that and like i love my real flowers but i wanted something that i can bring out every year that's going to last for the entirety of december and i remember last year i got my mum some really gorgeous faux flowers and i cannot for the life of me find where they were from but i do remember they were from etsy so i decided to have a little look on etsy and i found these really cute like burgundy kind of peony style flowers and i thought that i could create my own little festive kind of bouquet style it up a little bit and use some of like um the eucalyptus i've got and i picked up something else to add to it and i thought it'd be something that i could do myself it is quite small but i think once you style everything else and like all the foliage around it it's gonna look really cute so i'll link that down below because it's just from a little independent seller and i really really like the like vibe of it i love the color scheme i think it's gonna look really nice and festive Okay, next up, now this is going to be for the tree in my dressing room. Now I picked these up from John Lewis, I popped in the other day and I got these in store. And they are these adorable little, they almost look like acorns. And they're this kind of like rosy gold color. Now I feel like the theme that I'm gonna be going for in my dressing room is gonna be a bit different. I feel like it's nice to have an overall theme running through the house, but maybe like different vibes in each room. And I feel like I'm gonna go for more of like a champagne-y and silvery color scheme in there, which I think will look really, really nice. And I just thought these were so sweet. So they do actually come as a pack of three, but what I might do is cut them off of their ribbon that they're on and tie them to my own ribbon. And then I can put them all up separately. Cause I don't like that they're in this kind of almost like icicle thing, but I really liked them individually. And they were so affordable again. They were like two pounds, two pounds each. So very very happy with those i'll link those down below as well now moving on to ms i did a lot of damage in ms first of all we have a gorgeous set of 20 baubles now i do like going for sets if you're just going for like the circular baubles and nothing too special i feel like these are so good they're like such good value for money i love the individual baubles that you can get from places like john lewis and like selfridges and harrods but they're so spenny for what they are. So I feel like it's great to go for just like a big overall. And what I quite like about this is I feel like the bigger ones I can put on my tree in the living room here. Then because I've got a smaller tree in the office, I can use the smaller ones in there. And then you have a bit of consistency running through whilst it's still being different because this will be red and gold, whereas the other one will be like gold and silver. So you've kind of got the similarities, but then the differences in that, which I really, really like. And these are glass baubles, which... I don't have to worry about because I don't have kids. I don't have a pet or anything like that. Um, just something to note is that they aren't like specific shatterproof ones. But I do always find that like the actual glass ones look so much classier. And for only 19.50, I thought that was a really, really great purchase. And then of course I also picked it up in red. I wanted to update some of the red bubbles that we got from last year because I feel like looking back at photos, some of them were just. This is going to sound really weird, but not quite the right shade of red. They were too cherry and I wanted them to be more berry. So I'm not going to be wasteful of them. I am going to be donating them to my sister who is very willing to take them. But I wanted to get like some deeper shades of red. And I thought these would all look gorgeous on the tree. And they go really well with like the H&M little bows. They're like the same color red. So that like deeper red. I just think it's a bit classier and just a little bit more... I don't know, timeless in my opinion when it comes to Christmas. And I feel like there are so many different shades of red that you can choose from and that's a mistake that I learned last year is that I didn't quite get the right shades of red. 
So I'm really happy that I've now updated them. And this one was even cheaper. This one was £12.50. I think these are shatterproof. Yeah, shatterproof ones, which that's fine. I'm going to have a mixture of like glass and shatterproof. I just, to be honest, when they're red, I don't think you'll really notice the difference between real glass and shatterproof. But I feel like gold, you do notice the difference. I then picked up this mistletoe which i feel like there's lots of different things that you can do with this but i'm planning on maybe using it as a bit of foliage to kind of like style these up together this is very big but i'm thinking if i can kind of like weave it in style it up it might be really nice if not i will tie it over a doorway somewhere and use it as mistletoe but it was 15 pounds it's a little bit glittery i am getting a bit of glitter over myself but it's not too much like i'm not the kind of person that likes to have full-on glitter running around the flat that is not my vibe at all but i just thought i might be able to do something with that style i'm nice seeing it's actually the first faux mistletoe foliage that i've seen this year that's like i mean obviously it doesn't look real but it doesn't look really cheap and plastic and nasty do you know what i mean okay now next up in all honesty this is something that i think i'm going to send back because from the images online it's not what i thought it was and it's actually just a full glitter garland and I'm not about that life. It's called a leaf string lights, uh, battery timer, eight hours on, 16 hours off, which I thought sounded really great. I wouldn't have to buy um, something that like, plugs in. We've got lots of those kind of like um, smart plugs that we use uh, for the tree and stuff. But when it comes to like garlands, usually you've got to like do it battery operated. The batteries die if you forget to turn them off. The amount of times I can't reach it. So Alex has to turn it off and it's just a bit of a nightmare. So I thought that sounds great. And it's arrived and it is literally just a glitter ball and as i said i'm not really about glitter because it's just gonna go everywhere so i feel like i'm gonna send that back maybe i'll just open it and like give it a touch and see if the glitter does go everywhere but to be honest even looking at it i can see glitter falling off of it so shame i will link it if you do want to get it if you're not ad adverse to glitter like i am but i think i'm definitely gonna be sending that one back oh my gosh okay next up guys can we just take a minute for my little golden orb is that not the cutest thing in the world it's literally called a light up orb and they had it in this size and then they also had it in a small size i'm kind of tempted to get a small size and put them together because i think that would look really really cute but it's got like battery operated lights inside um so it will light up and just be this little light up ball in the corner i just thought that was a really cute little decoration i'm not really one for full-on like reindeers or like you know big ostentatious decorations i like just like little things like this and especially because i'm in a small flat i can't really go for full-on you know like snowmen and nutcracker men around the flat so i've got to kind of be a little bit more conservative with the things that i put up i just thought this would be so cute i'm thinking on the shelf these shelves here would look really really sweet this is probably my favorite thing no my second favorite thing that i picked up from m s and i'm so excited about it i actually picked up i bought three I'm only gonna keep one for myself. One's for me, one's for my mum, and one's for my sister because we all fell in love with these. And it is this candle. Now the scent is Neroli Lime and Basil. And it's not like the Christmassiest scent. It's a nice scent, one that I'm definitely up for burning. But the main thing that I really liked about this, and I actually saw it on Zoe Suggs' Vlogmas. I think it was her 2019 Vlogmas. Um, and basically these lights around the edge when you light the candle, I don't know how it does it because there's no batteries in there. There's no LED, or they are LEDs, but there's no like extra electricity in there. But when you light the candle, the lights, the LED lights light up. No idea how it works, but it does work. And I'm so excited about it because I think that's just gonna look so cute. So not only do you get a cozy little Christmas candle, but you also get like an extra decoration, which is what I really liked about it. And then the last thing that I picked up, and this is gonna make you understand a lot more why I picked up these mini H&M bows, and that is because from M&S, they have a giant bow. And if that's not the cutest thing you ever saw, and now the only difference is that these are silver with the little dots, this is gold, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. But my plan is to use this at the top of the tree. We don't actually have a star, and I know that sometimes really upsets people. And I remember last year, we just didn't have a star at the top. And people were like, why don't you have a star? We were just never that bothered about it. But I saw on m &S's inspiration, kind of like in their Christmas section, that they'd used this as a tree topper. 
and I just thought that was the cutest thing in the entire world. So I was influenced and I bought it. So congratulations to the M&S styling team for doing that because you influenced me, but it was £9.50, which I thought wasn't too bad. So I mean, considering there's a lot of things here, I don't think I've spent all too much money. And I don't want to spend huge amounts this Christmas because we do have like the basis of our Christmas decorations, but I feel like this year it's just about like updating them, upgrading them and making it even more special. So I'm so excited that I finally started doing some winter home styling and some Christmas decoration shopping. As I said, I know it feels a little bit early, but I feel like if you're wanting to get some new in bits, now is definitely the time yet to do so. So all these items will be linked down below in the description. I now need to do a lot of tidying up. <laughs> I feel like I'm officially in the like getting the flat ready for the season mode. Like you guys know that pretty much every single season I do this or mainly, I guess mainly spring and autumn. I don't really tend to do it as much for winter and summer, but I feel like it's time to get the flat ready for winter so that like when it comes to Christmas, I'm ready. Do you know what I mean? Like I feel like it's now time to start getting out the cozy vibes and you know, switching on the candles and read diffusers I actually have. A winter reed diffuser here that I'm so excited about. This is a really sweet one that my mum actually gave me, which was really kind of her. I was going to do a little white company order, um, but then she offered me this, which is from a brand called Royal Botanic Garden Q. So I don't know if it's from Q Gardens. I'm not really sure. I'll see if I can find it. I'll link it down below, but this is their winter scent. So it's finally time to start getting out the cozy blankets, switching over to the wintry scents, and just getting the flat ready for winter. while late now the sun is starting to set and i cannot believe what has just arrived and what perfect timing this is today in this box <laughs> sitting here is our christmas tree that's right ladies and gents i ordered a new christmas tree this year i was looking back at the photos from last year and as much as our christmas tree was lovely and i'm not planning on getting rid of it at all it just wasn't like wow in all honesty and that's because it was the first christmas tree that alex and i ever bought together we bought it the first year we moved into this flat november of 2019 and we bought the christmas tree i think it was like 60 quid and we just bought it to have up i don't think either of us expected to like have it for years to come you know what i mean um and i was scrolling through some christmas tree like options and stuff online and the ones that i found that i think were the best in terms of like price and in terms of look were actually from MS. so i decided to order myself one <laughs> So it's now sitting there in our living room, um, which is hilarious because we don't really have anywhere to put it for now until Christmas. So it's probably just going to have to stay there for the next few weeks to a month. Um, but I will pop a picture on screen of the one that I've chosen because it looks amazing. And I am so glad that I have a boyfriend who loves Christmas just as much as I do. Alex loves Christmas. And due to the nature of my job, I usually have to like put my tree up a little bit earlier than most people, you know, start getting into the festive spirit a little bit earlier. Um, then a lot of people I'm already like signing Christmas campaigns and stuff like that. Um, and I'm so glad that I've got him because when I started showing him Christmas trees, he was getting as excited about them as I was. And I was really debating whether to get a six foot or a seven foot because the one that we had already was technically six foot i mean 
I'll pop a picture on screen here um, of a photo that I took last year. I think it was like last year's thumbnail from for the start of Vlogmas. And bearing in mind, I'm five foot exactly. Like it doesn't look like a six foot tree. So I was really debating whether to get six foot or seven foot. And Alex was like, well, if we're gonna get a new tree, you've got to get a better one than last year and like a taller one. But I wasn't sure if seven foot would fit in. So what I did to test it was because Alex is six foot three himself. I said to him, if you can touch the ceiling or if you can like put your hand up and not scrape the ceiling, then that's probably seven foot and that's what will fit for a Christmas tree. So that's what we did. <laughs> so I'm praying that it's not gonna be too tall and that it is exactly seven foot, um, but I'm so excited about it. And I won't lie, the photo of the kind of like decorations on the tree, I'm taking a lot of inspiration from this year, as you can tell by the bow, as you can tell by the kind of like, I mean, the, that was my color scheme anyway. Um, but what I really like about it is it's seven foot and it's pre-lit and some people don't like pre lit but to be perfectly honest, I much prefer them because they're just so much less hassle. So I will link down below to the exact one I got. I will also link that down below to the other M&S Christmas trees because they had some great ones starting at, I think the smallest was five foot, going all the way up to like nine foot. Um, and they also had some cute ones that are like designed for outdoors and they had some really, really great options. So as I said, if you are wanting to update your Christmas tree this year, definitely do it sooner rather than later because I don't think they're going to be in stock for all that much longer. But I'm so glad that we now have ours ready and waiting for the 1st of December. Good morning. <laughs> it is a couple of days later now. I'm not going to lie. I completely forgot to end the last vlog, but I feel like it worked out for the best because I did a bit of shopping at the weekend. <laughs> it's currently Monday morning now and I had a really lovely weekend and did a little bit of damage in terms of some Christmassy stuff, some homeware. So I thought before we ended the vlog, <laughs> I would show you what I picked up. This has been a big old home unboxing, but I hope you've been enjoying it. I've been really, really loving adding bits and I feel like it's been such a long time since I did like a big old home haul because I feel like, because the flat's quite small and I've got it to a place where I'm like really happy with, not a lot needs changing. Whereas now that it's Christmas and it's coming up to like the festive season, that's something that I can like add into my home and change up for the season. So let me show you what I picked up. <sighs> we have some big bags here, some rather large shopping bags of some things that I got. Now I'm gonna start off with White Company because we do love the White Company. And actually I bumped into a friend there which was so nice who works at the White Company who came over and we were just having a good old chat which was really, really lovely. So I just picked up very simply a winter candle. I feel like it's not officially winter until you've got the winter candle. Now I was tempted to get the winter weed diffuser but I've just put, as you would have seen earlier in the vlog, a new reed diffuser up, the one that my mum gave me. And I actually decided to treat her and thought, seeing as though she gave me a lovely winter diffuser, I actually bought her the winter one. So I left that with my mum. I saw her at the weekend, we went around for a roast. So I left that with her and she absolutely loved it. I picked up myself the candle, which is just literally the best scent. It's cinnamon, clove and orange, and it really is the most like wintry scent. I, I know that not everyone counts November as winter, but for me, November is winter. I feel like, I know that every season is supposed to have three months, so obviously like, it should be September, October, November for autumn. But for me, November is just winter. Like I feel like winter is a lot longer here in the UK. So I feel like it's officially time to bring out the winter scent and I just absolutely love this. So what I'll do is I'll link down below to the entire winter collection at White Company because they have the best collection. They've got these candles, they've got more like pillar candles, they've got the giant candles, they've got the reed diffuser, the oil, the scents, like so many things in the winter range and I absolutely adore it. Let's go into the bits I picked up. Actually, let's start with, before I do John Lewis. <laughs> one thing I picked up from Home Sense is a tea towel, which I've never really gone festive with my tea towels, but I thought that's kind of cute. I feel like that's a really sweet little pop of festiveness. So these ones are actually Lauren by Ralph Lauren, which I really, really liked. They're just like these kind of like tartan ones, which I think looks really cute very traditional red kind of like festive vibe which you guys know is my vibe and it was only 7.99 so i thought that was really lovely they had a really great range of tea towels and tk max slash home sense would definitely recommend okay now moving on to the john lewis stuff let me put this down so we can actually get into it properly i picked up a lot of foliage um now first of all i picked up this little 
holly kind of thing now i know that some people would prefer to go for real holly and it was funny because my sister was saying to me you know i have real holly in my garden that you could just cut like, i know but i feel like this i'll be able to bring out each year and i know it's always going to look really really nice so the way that i kind of planned is just like tying it with like a ribbon on the door i thought it would look really nice i might tie it to the outside of our door our flat door not entirely sure or i might just keep it <laughs> here inside the flat on one of the doors the mini internal doors i thought would just look really really nice and and that cost only eight pounds which i didn't think was too bad at all considering that you can just bring it out every single year and it's a really lovely just like small little decorative piece now i also picked up some foliage some winter foliage now obviously i spoke about some winter foliage earlier in the video but i saw these in john lewis and just thought I can't not so I feel like I'm gonna have two sets of like winter foliages that are gonna be in the flat which I'm super excited about so we've got first of all this like now this is all separate this isn't like a bouquet that comes together but this is something I'm gonna kind of like arrange myself so first of all we've got this like eucalyptus which I really like because it's kind of like frosty eucalyptus like it looks like it's got some kind of like sugar coating on which I thought was really cute and they were really affordable they were six pounds so I picked up two of the eucalyptus and then I picked up three of these they kind of almost look like red poppies like i'm not entirely sure what flower they're supposed to be i don't know if it tells me no but these were only eight pounds so i've picked up three stems of that and i'm basically planning on creating like a really lovely little like winter faux flower centerpiece for the kitchen table i feel like it's time to say goodbye to the olive trees in the flat as much as i adore them they're not very festive like let's be honest so i feel like it might be time to say goodbye to those and i just thought some nice winter foliage would be really really lovely around the flat i thought that would be a really great way to kind of like ease into christmas like i think i might put these up before all the christmas decorations go up because i feel like that would be a really lovely way just to like ease into the festive period kind of welcome the winter months without it being too much i thought that was really really cute and then lastly i picked up this insane pillow absolutely insane it's been a long time since i picked up a new pillow like not even just like a pillowcase but like an actual big pillow and i saw this and it was only 25 pounds now i will link below to this exact one because there's quite a few different like faux fur soft pillows at john lewis and we were having a ball going around like seeing which ones were soft which colors we liked and all that jazz and i really like this one it's kind of like a grayy color it's not quite gray but it's not quite beige like it's a really interesting one so as i said i will link down below to this exact one because it can be really easy to pick up a different one because there are so many, so many different shades, but I really like this. And it was only £25, which I thought for an entire big, like, soft pillow, including the stuffing, that is such a good deal. And it says this, we've made the faux fur cover wonderfully soft and tactile for a touch of luxury. Faux fur natural duck feather pad. So I'm very, very excited about that. I'm not entirely sure which room I'm going to keep it in. Kind of tempted just to keep it here, but then I don't know if that's too much texture and if the bouquet kind of speaks for itself, I haven't quite decided I could maybe put it in our bedroom. It's just so soft I could walk away from it. So very happy about this little purchase. And then lastly, as I said, we went around my mum's for a roast and she gave me this. <laughs> because I'm not going to see her for a couple of weeks now. So she said that she wanted to give me this so that I had it for the 1st of December ready to open. And it's your mum, even your mum, if she doesn't go and buy you an advent calendar. <laughs> And then the last thing that I picked up for myself, which I haven't even opened yet because it literally only arrived yesterday and I'm so excited. I might, I think I'm going to save these for fresh sheets. We've got fresh sheets in a couple of days. And it's a little new pyjama set from ASOS, which I really, really liked. I feel like pyjamas are one of those things where like you don't really often buy yourself it and you kind of forget. But I feel like this time of year to buy yourself a nice pyjama set is so lovely. And I really love these like button up ones. I feel like they just... I feel a little bit more kind of like pulled together even though I'm in jammies and I'm still really cozy and comfy I still feel just very like acceptable so I really really liked these this came as a set which I really liked I believe I picked it up in a 12 yeah UK 12 so it looks like a really nice size it's like this gray kind of jersey fabric so really stretchy really soft and I just thought that's such a lovely little treat for the winter months some new jammies to enjoy <laughs> I feel like I'm going to leave this video here because this has been a big 
old at home cozy video full of so many new home pieces so everything will be linked down below if you did want to shop anything from this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you got this far leave me the home emoji or the word home down below in your comments because i always love knowing who gets the end of these videos and i know this has been a long one full of a lot of new in pieces but i hope you guys enjoy it i hope you have a lovely evening and i'll see you in the next one